Welcome back and let's continue with the series of Python by WS Cube Tech. I am Nehal and in this video, we're going to be talking about object oriented programming concepts in Python. Now, before moving ahead to the concepts and all, so first let's understand what is object oriented programming is. So object oriented programming is nothing, but it is one of the paradigm of programming. So when I say it is a paradigm, so paradigm simply means that it is a, a method of solving any problem, or you can even uh, refer to as uh, that it is one of the style or a way of uh, writing programs or uh, doing programming. So basically it is that, that is a paradigm. So the most commonly used uh, paradigms of programming are uh, the object oriented programming and procedure oriented programming. Now let's find out what's the difference between this both. So procedure oriented programming is uh, the thing in which uh, we, uh, we have a program and in that program we divide it into smaller functions and emphasis is given over the uh, the functions and not the data whereas in object oriented programming uh, uh, the uh, the emphasis is given over the objects and now here we will understand like the concept about the objects and uh, is what in the object oriented programming world so when you hear about this object oriented programming these two things come into picture that is objects and classes now let's understand what is this now we'll just under, uh, understand this with the help of an example. Now, for example, say uh, you want to construct a house. So this house is nothing but it is your object. You want that final uh, your object that is how should uh, uh, be. You know you want your object to be that way. Now, in order to uh, uh, be or the, to in order to create that object, you will requ require some blueprint, and that blueprint acts as a class. So basically class is what is it just like a template and the uh, object is your real world entity that is the house. And uh, when we talk about this classes and objects, so uh, you will have a class and this class will have, uh, uh, it may have two things that is it will have variables and it will have methods. And uh, uh, in order to create the class in Python, so we'll just see how we can create class in Python and with the help of the uh, example we will try to understand the various things uh, the methods and all that comes in our way so we'll first uh, just create a class so see uh, i want to create a class of employee all right and we'll just start with that thing and then we will see about uh, uh, what we can declare inside there so in order to create a simple class in python you need to use a keyword that is class and after that class, you need to specify the name of the class that you want to create. So say I want to create a class of employee. Now I have the, this uh, employee class and after that employee, you need to give a colon. And as soon as you press enter, so now here you are going to include those uh, variables and methods, which I said that uh, your class is a, a collection of methods and variables over here. And this would be your suit. And inside this, you are going to declare those things. Now, the first thing is now in order to declare uh, the variables, uh, uh, now uh, I have just declared, uh, uh, created a class or named employee. And now I want to have variables over here. Now, in order to have those variables, I need to define that in a, a method that is in it. I need to make use of this. So uh, just observe over here. So in order to define that, I will use def keyword and this init uh, method. So as soon as you see over here, we are getting this thing. So this is nothing but init uh, method. And this is like uh, underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. And this is method and it is self. It is overwritten over here. Uh, we'll see this thing about what is self and all. But as for now, just uh, understand that in order to uh, define our variables, uh, uh, we need to make use of this special um, method that is init method. And now inside this, what I'm going to do is uh, like simply, uh, I need to pass uh, here the uh, parameters over here. So say for example, uh, I'm with this class employer, and I want to pass two parameters over here. So I will say name and I will just pass one more thing. Why not let's pass ID? We'll just try to make it this simple. I know we can have multiple of parameters over here, but uh, as for now, we are just uh, uh, going through the uh, basic uh, things about what is class and object. So we'll just try to keep our uh, program uh, simple and easy to understand. So I have just declared over here two parameters. So you can see uh, it is three parameters over here because self is 
uh, also a parameter but we'll talk about self uh, later on but uh, just remember about this thing that i didn't wrote this thing it was it came automatically and this is mandatory it, it is compulsory over here so i'm just uh, giving the three parameters of self. this self is called by itself and this name i'm passing and i'm even passing id and this is my colon and after this what i'm uh, simply doing is uh, uh, i'm just writing this um, self dot name is equal to name and then self dot id is equal to id so this is how i have now uh, defined my variables inside my class so we have defined the variables over here now as i said that our class can even have methods so what we are going to do is we'll, we will define a method uh, also over here so for that i will just say def and i will give the method name so suppose i just want to greet the uh, employees uh, with the name that i pass so i'm just going to say greet is my name of the method and as you can see as soon as i just give this uh, uh, use this parenthesis so it automatically gives this self over here so just neglect this thing for as for now we'll see this thing what is uh, self uh, is going to do uh, but as for now just focus that we are creating a method over here we are defining a method and inside this method i'm just going to say that you print and you just greet the people so say i will just say that uh, welcome and the person name so that I will give with plus and I will just say your self dot name. So uh, this is about this is how you define a method inside your class. So you are having a class with the name employee and then you are defining the variables and uh, you are just uh, defining a method over here as well. And now in order, uh, now your class is ready and in order to create the object, so it's very easy to create objects in Python. So you're simply going to say that just get out of the suit and just uh, 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 do a backspace. And over here, you need to specify uh, the name of the object. So say I say E1 and just say E1 is my object and E1 uh, is equal to the name of the class that is employee. And inside this, I'm going to pass some values that is which I have given over here. So I will simply say that uh, uh, Pratik and will give a ID as 1234. So this is how you can create objects of your class. So you can create multiple objects for your class. So we are creating first object over here. And here you can even now call the uh, variables uh, with the object name so this is uh, if i say e1 dot and if i say name so i can do that thing simply i have to just uh, in order to print that thing i need to enclose that thing inside the print method and i can do same with the uh, id so i will say print and the object name e1 dot and id and we'll just do this thing and i can even call up my function with the object name so i will say e1 dot and i will just say greet and now if i just run over here so you can see over here so what is basically uh, we have done over here is uh, uh, we have passed this values over here and these values are going over here in this uh, name and id uh, the parameters and uh, it is just calling that thing so uh, uh, the basic idea over here is this is how you can create a class and the object over here now we will see what is this uh, init method over here so basically this init method is used to initialize your variables or to assign values to your variables and uh, you can see over here that uh, as soon as this object is created this init method is called automatically with the uh, these values pass to name and this id over here and you can see the first parameter over here is uh, uh, the self so self is a uh, self parameter is nothing but it is uh, the object calling it and the uh, the second and the third parameters are the these are nothing but uh, takes the values that we have passed when the objects are uh, object is created that is this this two values it will be passed over here uh, now instead of this self you can write any other uh, word over here 
but uh, this is one of the convention and we would be following this convention over here so instead of self you can go with another word as well but that is uh, it is necessary to give the first parameter as this thing so uh, the self is nothing but it is reference to the current object of your class and uh, you can even uh, access the objects uh, uh, the variables of your class with this now you can see over here like uh, when I say this print e one dot name, so it is just because your uh, it goes over here and then it uh, gets fetches the values and display over here. So it's this uh, because of the statement this has got printed and the second one as this uh, uh, the object which I'm calling here the uh, variable which I'm accessing over here is that is print e one dot uh, id is just because of this statement over here. So this is all about the self over here. And why not just create the second object so that uh, it becomes more clear over here. So uh, what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to create another object. So say I say E2 is equal to and now we know that how to create an object. So I'm just going to say E2 is equal to my class name and I'm just going to pass the values over here, the arguments. So say I say this time that uh, uh, Naveen and uh, we'll give the ID as this and now what basically I'm, I, I want to do is if I just want to print those things so I'm just going to say print and this time my object name is e2 dot name and uh, uh, this will just print uh, the uh, the name uh, of the value that I'm passed over here and simply I'm going to say e2 dot id and uh, We'll just even call up the function over here, the uh, the method which we have created. So I'm simply going to say e2 dot greet, and we'll just check this out. So you can see it over here that this was about the first one, the Pratik, and it uh, it is giving those results. And next we have just given this uh, Naveen. So uh, uh, the e2 objects. Uh, uh, has stored these values and it is displaying the name and the ID and it is just printing greeting that particular uh, employee that is welcome Navi over here. Now one more thing you can do over here is that now suppose you want to uh, in the first object uh, itself now like you have passed over here this uh, value and you simply want to change it so you can just change it so in in that case you simply have to do e1 uh, dot name is equal to and just pass the value so say this time i will just say rani and if i just do that thing so you will just see that this rani will take place uh, uh will come at that place of prati so you can just this is how you can modify the variables over here and uh, uh, so this was about the classes and objects over here so we'll just do a quick recap over here so what we have done is we are talking about the oops concepts over here and the main thing uh, that comes under the oops concepts are classes and objects and here we have declared or uh, defined a class over here with the name of employee and inside our class we have variables as well as methods so in order to uh, define uh, our variables we make use of this init method over here which has three parameters as for now this self is all we have talked about it is like the object calling it and uh, the second parameter is the name and the id and it doesn't matter that uh, you can change the name over here but that just be uh, uh, conscious while writing it whatever the name you have given here that thing you need to pass over here so you can uh, change the name over here but uh, this is as i said this is a convention and you need to follow this thing and we're going to be following this thing uh, in our further tutorial as well and so i'm just uh, passing this uh, uh, parameters over here so i have simply given two parameters that is name and id and this is the first one that is uh, the self itself and then basically what i did that this as you can see this statement which is got printing over here so it's just simply because of this thing so we are just uh, initializing our variables over here and we are even de defining a method that is greet the name of the method is greet over here and uh, uh, it is simply what it is doing it is just greeting the employee in my company so it is just saying print welcome and uh, i'm just passing this thing so whatever the uh, uh, values i will pass over here so that will get 
passed over year itself and now as for now my class has been defined over here so now i'm creating the object of my class so simply in order to create the object you need to write down the object name that is e1 is equal to and the class name and inside this you are passing the values that is the arguments you are passing over here and i have passed this two arguments over here and this was about the thing i told you about how you can modify those values over here and uh, you just simply you can just uh, with the help of the objects you can just access the variables and the functions so i just mentioned that e1 dot name and e1 dot id and i'm just passing those things inside my print method and this is simply printing this so this is just getting printed because of this line over here and this id is uh, getting printed because of this line over here so the values are getting passed over here and hence you are getting the results over here and this is about the method that we have uh, defined inside our class that is great. So it will just come up, up over here. It will say, okay, welcome. And this self dot name, it will fetch up this Pratik over here. And that will think this was the thing we have modified. And so uh, it is saying Pratik over here. We created, a, uh, as I said, we can create multiple objects of a class. So this was the second object that we created in the same way. And we did those things over here. So basically, we can just say that uh, now this, uh, as you can see, like this is a class employee. So uh, this class is defining like how the employee can be. This is all written over there. And th this basically is our objects. That is, these are the real world entities that we call. So this is about the classes and objects in the. Uh, now, one more thing I want to tell you over here is like, uh, what if you want to create a class with the. Uh, say a uh, empty class so i will just de uh, remove this all code over here so say for example you just want to create a class now you know how to create a class in python so you can simply make use of this pass keyword and it simply says that uh, uh, it's an empty class so it won't give you any error over here if you just remove this thing and if you just try to run it it will just generate an error so you can see this thing so if in case you want to use uh, don't want to uh, define anything inside your class that is variable or method you can simply make use of this pass keyword and it will simply says that your class is empty and it won't generate any error over here you can even use this pass with your uh, uh, while creating the method when you don't have uh, your uh, you're not writing anything inside your method so you can simply use with that uh, case also this pass keyword and I hope that you are uh, clear with this objects and classes concepts in uh, Python. And in the further tutorials, we're going to be saying more about the concepts of object-oriented programming. And if you are just enjoying the series, just hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel.